Today we are going to make a flower pot cake. The ingredients you need for the baked cake are milk, gluten-free flour, sugar, cornstarch, green tea powder, oil, and eggs. Separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. Submerge the egg yolks in the milk and the oil. Start beating the egg whites in a stand mixer on medium high speed until they turn white. Add in half of the sugar and continue beating on the highest speed. When lines start forming on the surface, add in half of the remaining sugar. Beat to soft peaks. Add in the remaining sugar and the cornstarch. Beat on medium high speed to medium peaks. Mix the egg yolks with the milk and the oil. Add in the flour and the green tea powder. Mix until it looks like this. Fold some of the egg whites into the egg yolk mixture. Fold that back into the remaining egg whites. Pour into cake molds. This mold is 5 inches in diameter and 2 inches in height. This mold is 6 inches in diameter and 3.5 and inches in height. This mold is 7 inches in diameter and 3 inches in height. Bake at 325 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. The ingredients you need for the cookies are gluten-free flour, warm butter, sugar, an egg yolk, cocoa powder, and salt. Whip the warm butter for 20 to 30 seconds. Mix in the sugar and the salt. Mix in the egg yolk. Mix in the cocoa powder and half of the flour. Fold in the remaining flour. Spread into a baking pan. Spread the dough evenly and thinly so it bakes faster and more uniformly. Bake at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. After removing the cakes from the oven, let them cool upside down for at least 2 hours before removing them from the molds. Cut each cake into two equal slices. After removing the cookie from the oven, let it cool completely and refrigerate for at least an hour before removing it from the baking pan. Grind into crumbs. Stack all the cake slices except for the largest one, from largest to smallest, 
and cut them into a truncated cone shape. Beat two cups of whipped cream to medium peaks. Assemble the cake. Smallest cake slice, whipped cream, diced strawberry, whipped cream, next larger cake slice, whipped cream, strawberry, Whipped cream. Next larger cake slice. Whipped cream. Diced strawberry. Whipped cream. Next larger cake slice. Whipped cream. Diced strawberry, whipped cream, the next cake slice, whipped cream, and the largest cake slice. Set aside about half a cup of the white whipped cream. Mix the remaining whipped cream with two teaspoons of red rice flour. Using a medium or large flat piping tip, pipe red whipped cream onto the side of the cake. Smooth using a hot cake knife. Spread a very thin layer of whipped cream on top of the cake. Place the cookie crumbs in a heap on the top of the cake. Pipe flowers using white whipped cream and a rose piping tip. Hold the piping tip still while piping and lift straight up. Rotate the flower nail between each petal. Mix the remaining whipped cream with a quarter teaspoon of cocoa powder. Place in a piping bag with a small round piping tip. Pipe small dots in the middle of the flowers. Freeze the flowers for at least 20 minutes. Arrange the flowers on top of the cake. 